octopus is that? Not too bad of a spot, huh? Look at this sandbar, huh? Wow. What do you think, Nugget? What do you think? Well, this isn't too bad, is it? <laughs> Crazy how it changes in like five minutes. Yeah, it went from like flat calm to rainy squall. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, so this is our well, weekly ritual. Once again, we're moving because of a cold front that is coming in. So uh, we have to dodge a pretty strong northerly that is going to come in. We should, what should we call this? We should call it the, the Ragged Island Shuffle. It's like every five days we got to find a new home and it just died down like it always does and then by tonight it's going to start blasting from the north so <laughs> Good. Uh, we've decided to go check out a new island, so we're gonna sail down here and go check out this place called Hog Key. This anchor is right here, and it sounds like a cool place. Uh, we heard some other cruisers talking about it, so we might actually see some other cruisers. That's exciting. That would be fun. So it should be a pretty nice, uh, should be a pretty nice downwind sail. It's pretty special to sail in these calm waters. Like the water is super clear. I mean, it's not really not in any swell or anything because we're protected by the islands. And it's blowing a good 25, 30 knots. We just Roosting down. <laughs> it is nice. It's awesome. It's like so the, like the perfect sailing, right? I know. Just gotta watch out for shallow spots. Yeah, that's the thing. But we should be good, and the charts are pretty accurate, yeah. so I trust them. Definitely a bit nerve-wracking sailing this fast and seeing like 2.0 under the keel. <laughs> oh, shit! Cruising. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. We're here. Look at all these boats. I know, crazy, huh? Hog Key is the cruiser's hangout in the Ragged Islands. And after a few weeks of self-isolation time, we began to crave social interaction with other sailors. Luckily, all the boats at Hog had been out here and isolated just as long as us. So it was an awesome opportunity to get together for sundowners and maybe even a barbecue at the Hog Key Yacht Club.
go for a little walk nugs. We're gonna go explore the trail system here on Hog Key today and give mom a little time to chill on the boat by herself. All right, let's go, Sierra. All right, we made it to the windward side of the island. And the interesting thing about this is this is where all the debris washes up from the wind and the current. So you'll see the most random things. There's a lot of shoes, there's fishing stuff, plastic bottles. So these are interesting. All these bags that are everywhere. These are emergency water ration bags. And so these are handed out by the thousands for hurricane relief. And um, then they're just thrown away. I mean, it's a great humanitarian thing to do, but I wish that there was a better way to distribute the water because then they just end up all on the beach like this and they're everywhere. There's one, there's another one. They're just everywhere. I think if we were to clean this place up, we would either need to burn it or we would need a gigantic ship to store it in because it is just tons and tons and tons literally of plastic. We took a little offshoot trail here we haven't taken before and look at this. It goes to this tiny little beach. It's beautiful. This place is a real gem. Wow. You wanna go swimming, Nugget? You can go for a little swim, huh? Look at this little nugget. I swear to God, I didn't even help her up. She's just like exploding. Oh, the sun's right in the shot. Sierra, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh. You look so proud of yourself. Know, she's... When she did it, she was like, oh, did you just see what I did? I pulled myself up. You are a danger, wow. Ness. You are oh, a... And now she's stepping there. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> Snug it. And now what? Careful. What's going to happen when you let go? What do you? No, oh. she's oh, no. I'm thinking it might be cool to go explore like Duncan Town. Yeah, it's quite interesting. We haven't seen a settlement for quite a while. <laughs> so it would be really fun to go in here and uh, see this little town here. And it will be quite a dinghy ride through this shallow cut in the island. That looks cool. I know, I don't know. I want to <laughs> zoom through there <laughs> at full speed. It looks so crazy. And then I think you just come in here. Oops. And then you just, yeah, Duncan Town. I just fueled up Maggie, so we're ready to go. Sweet. Let's do it. Well, we were just about to leave. <laughs> I think better that we wait. Okay, the family's ready. Duncan Town, look at that boat. Wrecked. Still full of conch though. Goats. So far, I've seen more goats than people. Yeah. So I don't know a whole lot about the town, just that uh, it was basically destroyed in a Hurricane Irma, I think it was, two, just over two years ago. Hurricane Irma is barreling towards the Caribbean with. When Hurricane Irma hit Duncantown, she was the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic region at the time, surpassed only by Dorian a few years later. 
wind speeds were recorded at 285 kilometers per hour, and it's said that the eye went right over Duncan Town, absolutely decimating the town. Imagine how hard the wind was blowing to do that to a sign. Now, years later, the town is still trying to recover. And only now are people starting to come back, and I heard that it's going to be the first solar powered town in the Bahamas. So there's like a construction crew here that's building a solar array and rebuilding the school. And it sounds pretty cool. There might even be a store. Oh. And I heard we could get ice cream Ooh. and beer. Not a lot going on. So we're in the abandoned health clinic. And we've heard the scale still works. Yeah, it is it works. okay if I put you on the camera? Or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing here? Just hanging out? Yeah, that's yeah, lunch time. Lunch break. Lunch break from yeah. work. Your guys are working on the school. Yeah. Is it going well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. All right. But we, we've been we're trying to figure out a way to weigh Sierra. Uh, <laughs> but we don't have a scale on the boat, so. Okay. All right. Why don't you get? Do you want to weigh yourself, Kaza? Oh. 100 and 40, 50, 60 or whatever, 58, bro. And then. And then we take the baby away? Yeah. 158. 8, 151. Okay, so 17, 17 pounds. Yeah. 17 pounds? 17 pounds? <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Duncan Town, what a random place. <laughs> Not a lot going on in Duncan Town. Not a lot going on. Walk around, see some goats. That's about it. Had a beer. Yeah. And uh, I think we pretty much done Duncan Town. <laughs> Ahoy Dallas Tribe! Did you know that for about the same price as a cup of coffee, you can join our inner circle, which gives you lots of cool benefits like early access to our video releases, private membership to our tribal council where you can chat with the crew, and also invitations for like sailing and diving and crew opportunities and all sorts of cool stuff. Yep. So head to patreon.com forward slash esvidelos for more information. And we love you. That's it. Back <laughs> to the show. <laughs> What are you guys' plans today? Me and Sierra are gonna go with the ladies for a walk. That's exciting. There's cool yeah. trails on this island, huh? Yeah, there's some really nice trails. And there's also a cruiser barbecue tonight. Oh, yes. So I've been tasked with getting something to barbecue. So I'm gonna go with some of the guys I met here. We're gonna head up uh, way up north, about four, four and a half miles in the dinghy and try and get something for dinner. I got my gear, fins, mask, wetsuit, weights, pole spear, bucket, and gloves. Dinghy's full of fuel. And I got the baby. The nugget is well fed. She's ready for her walk. <sighs> it's a good day. Cruising yeah. life, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. We were just talking about the plans today. Yeah. Boys mission, girls mission. That's right. Bye, have fun. This point looks pretty cool. I might set the hook back here a little bit and we'll just have to see what the current's doing. Yep, here we go. Okay, okay you guys have fun. All right, we'll see you out there. like treasure hunting at the beach. See if we can find some cool stuff. Wonder what the boys are up to. Nice one. Not as big as the first one, but he's all right. <laughs> That's a good size one. That's a keeper. Yeah, but... Uh... 
not a bad catch, huh? We got three lobster, various sizes. One grouper, what's the little red, red snapper? Little snapper in there. And a bunch of conch. So I think our side dish for today will be conch. Yeah. Yeah. With our bounty of seafood, we returned to the yacht club and began the task of cleaning the conch, which is no small feat. Luckily, an old salt named Jerry was on hand to teach us newbies how to do it right. See, I'm, I'm not pushing deeply. I'm just doing a light little, I'm just cutting the skin. That guy right here, he was, he's sticking the knife halfway through it. Just, <laughs> but he's got to do it yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I, I'm getting this thing. He's chopping his finger for it. Yeah, yeah. see some. Try to get the knife in there. there? Right in there. Yep. And we'll put it down in. Kind of saw that way, and then flip the blade around. Yep. Easy, see. Once you cut the tendon, game over. Oh. Yeah. I noticed that. Okay, four down. How many did you catch these things? Nicely done. We'll How are they doing, Jerry? Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I agree with that. Nice and so, no, <laughs> wise no, words. I, you, you all have, I mean, you, you two have some, you're, you're new at it. So what did you want to be? Like, you know, you went out to be a baseball pitcher and on your first pitch, how'd you do? Well, let me know in three years and you might have the pitch down. So um, yeah. it takes time. It's a good analogy. <laughs> the Bahamians would call this tenderized. They'd call that done. And when I'm done, it's a see-through paste, so it's really tender. Yeah, so uh, we did all this work uh, today, the whole day, fishing and catching, and we're going to put chicken <laughs> on the barbecue. <laughs> So who set this up? Well, we all do. It's a it's a it's a um, tradition that we just keep it going. Um, just a cruiser Barbie on the beach. It's, a, it's an opportunity for everybody to get together and, and meet each other and tell stories. It's nice. And um, sharing some food. I'm pretty sure she could do lobster all night long. Because it just looks like she has an affinity for it. Jeez, child. It would be me like more than one like <laughs> yeah, right. It's like there's something out of Flintstones or something, you know? Like, like eating a, a dinosaur. Like, right. Did you like chicken? I don't know. She can't even get it in The other night on the beach, we met some fellow cruisers that agreed to chase me around in the dinghy while I kiteboarded. It's something that's a little difficult for us to do now that we have Sierra, and so I jumped at a chance to give it a shot. Oh, no. sandbar and they're making turns. It's an awesome spot. Wow, look at you. You're gonna be a sailor. <laughs> pull, pull that higher. Are we gonna see it, Jerry? Are we gonna see one? All right. <laughs> it's gonna be a green flash, Sierra. We're referring to the meteorological phenomenon known as a green flash. If the conditions are just right, when the upper rim of the sun's disk sets below the horizon, 
a green spot can be visible for just a brief instant. Personally, I'm a skeptic because I've never, ever seen one. I have a good feeling about this one, Megatown. Yeah, no, me too. Okay, 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 okay pay Sierra, attention look, now, pay attention look, now. Look, 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 this is game time, this is game time, Sierra. Okay, I need to film though. Look now. Here it goes. Here it goes, people. Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it? Are we gonna capture it on camera? It wasn't a big one. I don't know. I don't ever see it. I stare at it. I don't see Everybody's bumping horns. You see it. I don't see it. Maybe I don't see green right. Ah. You're not colorblind, are you? No. Sierra, Sierra didn't even see it. Okay. Say goodnight to people. Good night to people. <laughs> Good night to people, Nugget. Mm. <laughs> Great shot. Jeez, child. It would be me like holding one like this. Time. Yeah, right. Like, it's like there's something out of Flintstones or something, you know? Like, it's like eating a, a dinosaur. Like, Did you like chicken? An octopus laugh? Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>